Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a health system and a health bar in a 2D game with Unity. In the previous videos, we looked at how to um, set up the canvas or UI to display a score. So in this game, at the moment I've got a canvas and there's uh, a text object at the top left corner of the canvas that displays the score. So what I'm gonna do is below this, I'm gonna have a health bar um, which will show represent the player's health which will deplete um, and then when the health becomes really low it will the health bar will change from green to red so there's going to be a health bar there and um, to take off health the player what i have is some spikes so when the player walks on or standing on these spikes uh, the health of the player will be um, depleted okay so a player will take damage from those spikes there. And we could have other objects in the scene, like there might be enemies that um, might also uh, deplete the player's health and other objects that the player might come into contact with. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna to need to do is click on these spikes. And I've already added a box collider 2D with is trigger checked so that we can detect when the player collides with the spike. So if you haven't done that, then um, select the object that's gonna reduce the player's health like spikes and uh, you just go add component, search for a collider and then choose one of the box, uh, one of the collider 2D components that works for the shape. So I've already added a box collider 2D and is trigger is checked. And what I'll need to do is also tag this, these spikes to distinguish them from other objects in the scene that the player can collide with like um, crystals and other objects like that. So I'm gonna add a new tag here and I'll just call it spike. And then I'll go back and select the spikes again and apply that tag, okay? And I'll just need to make sure I've done that for any other spikes in this scene and also in each scene or each level in the game. So I've just got two spikes in this scene. I'll save that and go into level two. And I've only got one spike here, so I'll click on that. I've already added a Collider 2D with is trigger checked. So I just need to add that spike tag and save that. Okay, I'll go back to level one. Um, but in this, uh, in this game so far for the UI, I have a canvas and it's got um, some text to display the score. But I actually made this canvas a prefab, uh, which means that any changes that I make to the canvas, uh, I can apply to each scene or each level in the game without having to go into each scene and, and manually update the canvas. So what I'm gonna do is add a new object to the canvas. And I'll just zoom out, double click on the canvas so we can see the whole thing. Right click there and uh, I'm gonna create an empty object. And this is just gonna be called health bar. And then I'm gonna right click on the health bar and I'm gonna add two UI objects. I'll go down to UI. I'm gonna add two images. So add an image. This one will be called border. And I'll do that again. Right click on the health bar, uh, go to UI, add an image and this one will be called bar, okay? And so they should be in that order. So um, we've got the health bar here as the parent object of this border and the bar. Um, the border will be at the top. Um, so it's basically gonna be an image that's gonna be behind the bar. And um, just it's gonna appear as a border around the bar and then we'll have the bar itself. So what now I need to do is just change the color and the size of these and set their position. All right, so I'm gonna start with the border. What I'm gonna do is set the width to uh, 94 and the height to 14. So you can play around with the width and height that, that works best for, for your game. And then I'm gonna change the color. I'm just gonna make it like a dark gray border, okay? Then I'll go to the bar and I'm gonna change the width and height of that. So it will be just a little bit smaller than the border. So this is gonna be 90 by 10 and I'm gonna make it uh, bright green. Just like that. So if we zoom in, should be able to see a dark gray border 
which is actually, it's just this, it's an image. It doesn't actually have an image file. So just change the color. So it's, it's basically just a rectangle that's behind the bar and a bit bigger than the bar. So it's 94 by 14, whereas the bar is 90 by 10 and it's in front of the, the uh, border. So, all right, and that's green. Okay, so that's, that's basically what that's gonna look like. What we need to do is now uh, move this up below the score or wherever you want it in the scene. So grab the health bar, use the move tool, and just roughly gonna place it up here. Zoom in a little bit and position that exactly where I want it. Just about there for now. And then what we'll need to do is uh, anchor this. So click that little box there and I'm gonna select the top left corner so that this health bar is anchored to the top left corner of the screen. So it won't matter what the screen size is or aspect ratio um, the player's using, uh, it should be up in the top left corner um, on any set of size screen, okay? We'll do that for both the border as well and the bar. So anchor that to the top left corner and the bar will be anchored to the top left corner. Now with the bar, the way that this is gonna work is when the player's health is um, reduced, right? so when the player loses some of their health, this green bar will shrink. And what we're actually just gonna be doing is changing the scale on the X axis. So if I click and drag this X value here to reduce the scale, uh, it starts at one. If I reduce it to say like 0 0.5, uh, we can see that the, the green bar is shrinking, but it's actually shrinking towards the center from both sides, which is not really what I want. I want it to shrink from right to left. So I'll just set that scale back to one. What we're gonna do here with the bar is click on that little box there again. And this time hold down shift to set the pivot. And it can be any of these left boxes here. So I'm gonna pivot it from the left. I'll just click the left, hold down shift and click the top left corner box there. So now if I just go out of that and reduce, change the scale, shrink it down. Now it's shrinking from right to left, okay? All right, so I set the scale back to one there. Um, now, this canvas is a prefab. Uh, the health bar with the border and the, the bar itself has been added to this um, canvas prefab. So in order to apply this to the prefab and uh, apply these changes throughout the different scenes in the game, I'm gonna select the health bar, right click on that, then go to added game object and apply to prefab canvas. All right, and now you can see all of these objects here in the hierarchy are blue. They're all um, part of the same prefab, the canvas. So if I save that scene and now jump into level two and have a look at the canvas there, we can see it's exactly the same. So it's applied those changes throughout both, both scenes or levels in the game. Okay, um, so that's, that's how the health bar will be set up. And if we just uh, click on the play button, to run the game and have a look, see what that looks like. Should see it's displayed up there nicely in the top left corner below the score. Okay, so the next thing to do is we're gonna have to write some code um, to control the health and to um, adjust the health bar when the player loses some health. 